Hey everybody, good morning. It's a beautiful day here. My hyacinths are starting to come up and I'm super excited that it is Friday and it's Easter weekend, which is kind of fun. So I'm glad you're here. Thanks for being here. If you don't know who I am, I'm Rita Hickman. I'm a body mind expert and a shiatsu massage therapist. And my specialty is helping women who are in toxic or narcissistic relationships get strong enough to really make those changes that you wanna make, you know, to either stand up, find your voice, hey Chanel, walk out, find a new job, whatever it may be. I help women really empower themselves and get strong. Hey Phyllis. So all week we've been doing uh, tips to heal after a relationship with a narcissist. Now one of the things that comes up when you're in a toxic relationship with someone is you end up questioning yourself uh, and questioning who you are and if you're making the right decision and if you're doing the right thing and is this the right step. You end up with a deep sense of insecurity and this insecurity will keep you from actually really um, doing the things that that will move you forward. So you know many times any decision is better than no decision. You know any decision is is better than holding back into that space of fear. You know what works best is when you start to move forward when you start to be like you know what I'm gonna do this I don't know how it's gonna turn out but I'm gonna follow it anyways and we'll deal with what happens on the other side. You know that movement forward is um, much better than questioning or worrying or, or being stuck in that place of thinking that um, is this the right move? Is this the right move? Is that the right move? You know, the biggest challenge that we have as compassionate people is being compassionate to ourselves, is recognizing, you know, we would look at anybody else and say, okay, they're in process. They're taking one step at a time. This is where they're at. They're doing the best that they know how. We have to do the same thing for ourselves. Tony Robbins would always say, we overestimate what we can get done in a year and we underestimate what we can get done in 10 years. So you have to expand your timeline a little bit. You know, let's say for me, I'm, uh, you know, it's taken me decades, but I've just now started to take vitamins, but I have to do them in a smart way, you know, because otherwise my body isn't used to it. So instead of getting frustrated and instead of saying, well, this is no good, I'm not going to bother, it doesn't even work anyways, which is what everybody feels, you know, especially when things don't turn out the way that we want. Instead, you say, you know what, this is in process. My body needs to adjust. I need to adjust to the new routine. I'm gonna feel certain ways. We have this tendency when we're in fight or flight, when we're in that primal space of, of being completely traumatized, you know, from the toxic relationships that you were in, is to, to go within, you know, to be in this space of, of very small and very protective. And so everything is, did I do the right thing? Did I do the wrong thing? Don't worry about it. The best way to do it is to try something, get the feedback, make a couple adjustments, and then try it again. You know, it's not about it didn't work, I need to give up. It's about, okay, how can I make this work for me? How does this work for me? And you're in process. You know, it's like being an entrepreneur. Hey, Alette, what you do is you don't have this brilliant idea or the solution or this magic pill or this phenomenal miracle that you've downloaded and channeled from the ether. That's not quite how it works. You may end up with some great information. However, you have to put it out there into the world. You put something out there into the world and then you get the feedback and then you adjust. And it's the same thing with you. You are not going to get any of this stuff right out of the gate. You may get a lot of it right, which is awesome. However, you're going to need to go out, get feedback, come back, make a couple adjustments, and then go out again. So it's important to be really compassionate with yourself because we've been uh, wired, we've been imprinted to think that we have to do stuff perfectly from day one, and that's not how it works. You only get good at compassion for yourself, at, at strength, at kindness, at balance, at security, not by having all the right answers, but by having the courage to step out and to try something. And even if it's a complete and utter failure, that's good. Because the faster you fail, the better you'll learn. So you have to go into this thinking you're gonna fail. You're gonna fail a lot. Things are gonna go wrong. You're gonna lose your temper. You're gonna feel overwhelmed. You're gonna cry. You're gonna hide. You're gonna fall back into your old patterns. You're gonna you know, eat too much and rely on carbs. This is what you're going to do. 
And if you walk into it knowing that this is probably the path that it's gonna be, you'll be a lot more compassionate with yourself and you'll keep moving forward because it's not about getting it right. It's about continuing to move forward, to take a next step. Even if it feels like for a while, you're kind of falling back, okay? So here's your homework assignment for today. I want you to find one thing that you have always wanted to try that would make you feel good, whether it's vitamins, whether it's um, exercise, whether it's adding a water routine, whatever it may be. I want you to pick one thing and I want you to start doing it with the idea that you're probably gonna fail. Hey Lynn, you're probably gonna do it for a couple days and then it's gonna crash land. That's okay. What we want you to do is say, I tried it, it failed, I'm gonna try it again. And this time I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it next to my bed so I make sure that I drink it first thing in the morning. And this time I'm gonna put some water in my car so I make sure that when I'm driving, I'm drinking it. It's gonna take you a while to rewire yourself but you have to believe from the get-go that you will do it. And the way to get that, to wait, the way to get there is to fail quickly and to fail often. The way we succeed at anything is speed of implementation. So the faster you get an idea in your head and the faster you put it out into the world and learn from it and take the next step, the quicker you're gonna get exactly where you wanna go, which is strong, smart, empowered, kind, balanced, and really loving your life, okay? So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Look for the group um, Healthy, uh, Healthy Strategies to Cope with Narcissists. You know, type it into Facebook and uh, ask to join. I would love to have you there. And if you're feeling stuck, reach out. I've got tons of meditations and blogs and the live streams that we do and all of those things that can really help you along this path. Chanel says, dare greatly. Exactly. And if you know you're gonna fail from the get-go, hey Val, then you're able to manage for that instead of spend a lot of time feeling like you screwed everything up and it'll never work. And even if you do go into that space, that's okay too. It's perfectly okay to feel sorry for yourself for a little bit. Feel it, express it, release it, and then take the next step. And you're gonna do great and I'm right here with you. So I hope you have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend. And I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Bye.